Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we make a function block like a CTU counter block, similar to the one we use in Siemens TIA portal. First let's create a new project. Then to make a function block we right click on program and add new data, then choose function block. I will first add my labels. We will need three input, two output, one word label, and one constant label that should always be true. Now that our labels are done we can go to the program and make some programming. This is the code needed for a CTU counter block. Now let's compile it and go to the main program block. I will now add the function block to my main program. Just drag the function block in. I will add a memory bit to my count up and reset input. And to my preset value input an application instruction with a value for how much the block should count up to. On the output I will use Y0 from my PLC. And on CV I will just add a tag that can keep track of the counted value. Let's download the program and test it out. The block will count up each time our CU input gets triggered, and will do so until it reaches its preset value we given it. Once it reaches its preset value the output bit will turn on. If we trigger the reset bit the value will go back to zero. While the reset input is active we can't make the block count up.
I will now add one more block and give them different preset value and another output on the PLC. Let's download and test this out. As you can see they turn on depending on which preset value we given them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.